Hello. I will now show you how to use the ramp behavior to make nice, smooth, subtle moves inside of motion. So inside of motion, I created a new blank effect. So here we have the effect source. So once we publish this and save this, we can just apply this effect to any clip that we want. So to get started with the effect, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add an image to the drop zone. It just makes it a little easier for me to, to see what I'm doing. And then next thing I do is I go select on the actual um, media. I go to the inspector. And what I do is I go to each uh, parameter that I want animator, animated and then I add a ramp behavior. So I go to the X, I click on the little arrow and then I click on add parameter behavior and then go to ramp. Let me undo that because I already added uh, and labeled all the different ramp parameters for each of the properties that I want. So you see this little gear, that means there's already a behavior attached to it. So what the ramp does, it allows me to move from one position to the other. So let me click on the position Z. So I show you in a, uh, an example of what I mean. So for example, it has a start value and an end value. So let's say I want the start value to happen close to the camera and then the end value to leave it at zero. So now throughout this whole duration, we see it go from this parameter number to zero. And then since we applied it to all the different positions and rotations, we can actually uh, change some of this. So let's say we want to position it here and then position it here, add a little rotation. So all these position Z, Y, X, these are all ramps that I have added to each of the uh, parameters just to um, confirm. So let's go here. Let's add some rotation here. And that's it. And then we have another little parameter here that's called the curvature. And this what it does, if I click on the keyframe, it adds a little bit of a curve to be the beginning and the end of the keyframe. So if I turn this down, you see it goes to more of a linear animation. And if I bring it up to 100%, it gives it a more of a curve. And there you go. And if you want the end to be at a different position, you can do that as well. So you can just change the end values for all of these. And then just goes from one point to the other. So without any keyframes right there, we are able to do uh, quick animations. And this can be applied to many different things that you need a ramp to go from one variable to another. So hopefully that shows you the power of the ramp behavior. If you have any questions or comments, please contact me through the website at motionmastertemplates.com. Thank you and have an amazing day.